Hey everybody, it's Brian Cook. Thanks for checking in. I'm actually, I shot this video when I was back home, but I am actually down in the Mayan Riviera, or the Riviera Mayan, at a fabulous resort, hanging out with my friends in the sun and having some drinks, and, and probably had already been to Coco Bongos, but I just want to kind of finish up on my part two of the videos and, building, and getting people started correctly. So as I talked about in the last video, it's so important to treat our new people like babies, but you've got to allow them to grow and you've got to always nurture them and you want to give them lots of praise to make sure they are they know they're going down the right path because again, it's your responsibility to make sure they're they're set. I know that my wife and her business, she'll actually do a home party for them the first time to show them, and I do the same thing, you know, when I get somebody started I'll come and do their their home opportunity meeting, and then the second one I'll I'll be there and watch them do it, and then on, by the time it comes to the third one, they should be pretty confident on doing them by them themselves. And again, that's teaching duplication. You know, you do the first one for somebody, the second one you'll go ahead and watch them do it and support them, and then the third one they're on their own and they teach their people the same way to do that as well. Now remember, when we are treating them like babies, we got to be careful not to be like the all answer guide so if people have basic questions you've always got to refer them to your corporate um, if they have questions that you shouldn't be asking are you answering you should you should send them to corporate and then have them get the answer and then call you back with the answer that's very important because you want you don't want to know as tech be known as tech support for your company um, there's people you know people want to go get need to go get the information on their own so they learn how to do that so send them to your corporate uh, helpline and and make sure they get that information that way keep it basic and simple again we're talking about if you give a baby a steak they're gonna starve to death so you gotta keep feeding them babies food let them grow let them nurture let them get older just a little bit at a time a little bit of time give them a little homework little assignments you know starting from their why get back with me tomorrow uh, my company has a 72-hour challenge. Plug them into where they got to talk about their why. They got to build their list. They've got to do certain things that pertain to my company to meet that 72-hour challenge. And it, it makes it very simple. And then really break it down. I got an email from one of my rock stars today, uh, guy who was just explaining to us his uh, downline. Three simple steps. We do. We ask these questions and then one two and three questions if they answer yes to the third question we tell them to watch our either opportunity DVD or go to our website and then we follow up and we follow them up just looking for a yes or a no are you interested yes or no we just want to know to move forward either way we don't mind so going to get that decision and following up and really when you help people do that, be the guy that's on the phone with them. Say, hey, you're just going to introduce me, and I'm going to do the work, and you're going to listen to how I do it. So it's show and tell. The best way for me to, uh, you know, the best way for me to do it as an example is I, I went through a six-month police academy, and then after the six months, I had a field training officer who I sat in the car, and, and she did everything. And I just watched for basically the first week or two weeks. And that's what you want to do with your new people. Let them just watch and, and go from there. So I hope those help you. I hope you're showing your people how to get started right. The simpler you keep it, the less talking you do, the more duplicatable. We don't want to puke on anybody. And if they're not stepping up to their responsibility, it's your job as their sponsor to call them and say, Hey, we had agreed that we were going to meet at this time and go over these tasks. What's the deal? And you got to let them know that you're not going to waste your time. If people set up appointments, they have to follow through. So that's your tip. I'm down here in Cancun, Mexico, chilling and having fun. Wish you were here. Why don't you make sure you're with me this time next year hanging out on the beach. Take care.